Welcome back. So this video ended up being a little different than intended. I had intended on doing the base and painting the model, but there's so much to cover on the base alone. Uh, here we go. So this is the base it comes with. You have the hole here, which the kit piece attaches to. But I'm going to use this piece of acrylic and cut it and drill a hole so that a brass rod can go through it to hold up my model instead of the kit piece. And then it will just sit right through here so all the wires can go through to the electronics in the bottom. So I cut the acrylic into a little cube and drilled out through the center of it using two different bit sizes to make kind of a stair step like you see here so that when I take my brass rod it will fit inside the quarter inch hole but it will bottom out at the smaller hole which will hold the rod in place like so and you can see how it just kind of fits right in there so next I'm going to take my acrylic cube and glue it into position right here on the base and you can see it goes all the way through and that's where my wires will run from my LED lighting. So I've now painted this with primer and I actually like the color of it with primer so I'm just going to leave it with the primer gray and I'll weather it later. And you know again this was the piece that the model did come with and I want to make my brass rod the same height roughly as that so I'm going to put my rod in here and then mark on my rod the same height as the base that the kit uses. So I have roughly the same height. So I've cut the rod and it's the height that I wanted. It fits right inside here. And then the model itself, with the hole I drilled through the bottom, will fit right on there. And you can see that it has that upward angle and a slight tilt to the port side. So here we have all the electronics that I will be securing to the bottom. My, uh, trinket board which controls all of my lights and functions. This is the sound board which has some sound effects, amplifier and a speaker for the sounds. These are the buttons for the effects, master power switch and my power input board. So it occurred to me if I have my trinket plugged in all the time it's going to be on all the time. So I'm using a USB power board with this switch and then that will turn on the trinket so that it's not continually on while it's hooked up to USB. So my plan is to put my power board here. I'm gonna put my trinket with this USB port on the side here where there's a little cutout already. And then my soundboard is gonna go over here on this side and I'll need to cut out some area there for its USB portion. My amplifier I'm planning on putting in the center here with the speaker sitting over in that area. My switch will be over on the side and then my function buttons will be in these other open areas. So with my USB power board and my power button here, I need to cut out areas for the USB to plug in and for the button to come through. So I'm going to start out by cutting out an area so that a USB cable can be plugged into the USB input of the power board. So I've cut away the area and you can see how the plug will be able to plug right in. So now I need to drill a hole so that my power button 
can be put in place here so that I can turn it on and off. So I'm going to start by drilling out a hole and then I'm going to make it bigger just using an X-Acto until I get to the perfect size for it to fit nice and snug just like so. And you can see here it fits pretty snugly and is held in place and the power board will be right next to it. So again with my trinket there's already a little cut out there where the USB will be able to plug in but I still need to remove some plastic for the entire board to sit in there a little bit better. So I'm going to do the same thing and here the board fits in and you can see there's room there for a USB cable to plug in and that's just for changing my um, code or anything if I need to. And then it's on to my audio board which again same thing and here we have the whole area cut out for my soundboard and it fits in there and I think I'll be placing my audio amplifier right here in the middle but first I'm gonna figure out I want these buttons to control the laser effects and such I want them to be in the same place as these little squares on the top side of the base. So basically the button would be coming through and that plastic model piece would fit on top. So I'm going to carefully cut around these little sections here to remove them from the base. And you can see I've got one done here. and there's the little piece I cut out and here's one of my power buttons which I will just end up securing on the bottom side of the base inside here like so and there you can see the uh, push button and then the little plastic piece will fit on top and you'll be able to push on that but it'll look like it's still part of the base not an actual button so I've got all three cut out for my three buttons and I've done a gloss coat over the base so now it's time to start doing some weathering so I'm just gonna liberally apply some black wash over all these areas Now that I've washed the whole thing and let it dry a bit, I'm going to go through with a um, Q-tip and just start rubbing away, just leaving the recessed areas where the black is collected, like so. And then where there's my three holes with my three button tops. Each button will go in one of these three holes here. And I've also labeled the inside just for myself to remember what wires from what boards need to go there. So I've hot glued each of my buttons into place now. And they're held in very well. And here's how it'll look basically with the model piece on top. I'll glue it into position. So now it's time to start on my power switch which I have here in place and I put some hot glue around it to hold it and then I also took a piece of styrene tube and wedged it in there and hot glued that in place just to give it some extra support so when I'm pushing on the button it's not gonna move or go anywhere so here we have all of my buttons glued in place and I put a little piece of styrene tube on the top here so that my USB power board can fit over that and that will kind of lock it into place and then my trinket will fit right here and then again my soundboard will fit right here and the amplifier will fit in the middle there's still some room there with the speaker over on the right side that's a little empty but at this point I now need to cut out the area for my audio amplifier now that I have everything else in position. 
So I'm going to mark it like I did with all the other boards and then just remove the plastic like so. And the amp fits right inside there. So I've soldered on my positive leads to both terminals of my power switch. I've glued this little piece of styrene tubing here for my USB power board to sit on. And now I'm going to use an old wood burning tool and melt the top of that styrene tube, kind of mushroom top it, to sort of hold my USB board in place. Then I'm also though securing it with a little bit of hot glue on either side here. Then my trinket is going to go right here and as with my power board I put some hot glue on four sides here to hold this into position so it's nice and secure. So I've got my positive lead going to my USB board and I'm going to solder that into place. And then the other side of the positive lead is going to my trinket so that when the button is pushed on the power button, the power will go through to power up the trinket. And then I've attached my negative lead from the power board to my trinket as well. So then it's time to glue into position my soundboard over on the other side of the base. And again, hot glued in the corners and hot glued on the end here. And it's nice and snug and secure in place. And these white wires are for the three switches to activate my sound effects when the buttons are pushed. And then my positive and negative leads for my soundboard. So I'm going to solder my white wires to the push button for my soundboard. Second wire here. And then my third wire to the third button. Then it's time to solder the power lead to my trinket from the audio board and I've also soldered the negative wire to the USB power board. Now I'm soldering a negative wire to the soundboard which will then run through my base to my third push button switch in line which will then daisy from the third to the second and then from the second to the first so they will all get grounded together. So then it's time to put a little hot glue in the center here and drop my audio amplifier into place and glue that down. And just a dab of glue on the corners here just for a little extra secure measures. So now I'm soldering the signal wire from the soundboard to the amplifier, the signal of the actual audio that the speaker will play. And I've also wired up the positive and negative leads and everything powers up and everything seems to be working just fine. So at this point, I think I'm ready to take my little pieces that I cut from the base and I'm going to put just a little dab of super glue on them and drop them right on top of these little push buttons and glue them into position. And here you can see all three are glued into position in a little test. These are just random sound effects on this third button here. button and torpedoes so 
So there we have all the electronics in place, soldered up, ready to go. And one last thing, I painted my brass rod flat black. And that will just drop into this little piece I made here to hold up the model. And base is complete and we're ready to move on to painting the model.